Breaking news. <laughs> Atiku says Tinubu wanted to be his running mate, but he said no. Okay, this is, I mean, Atiku Tinubu, they are, I mean, trying to strategize, if you want to describe it that way. Every way possible, these two gentlemen want to rule Nigeria. However way it will happen, they don't care. In case you are wondering, Atiku is in his late 70s late 70s in case you are wondering tinubu according to him this year he will be 70. so these are the people who wants to be ruling us whilst there is nothing wrong with their age there are so many young people with today's age and day who could potentially put a spin and make a huge difference with our political terrain and settings of what we have and we are experiencing if we want a real change, we need to go for it. We cannot keep playing games. The era of playing games is over. We cannot keep playing games. If we want something done, we need to go for it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Atiku, Tinubu wanted to be my running mate, but I said no. The former vice president... Atiku Abubakar has narrated how he turned down the offer made by Shiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu in 2007. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar says, I turned him down then in 2007. Atiku, who served as the deputy of ex-president Ulushe Gwobasanjo between 1999 and 2007, said, Tinubu wanted to be his running mate in the year he lost his first presidential election, but he said no. Atiku fell out with Obasanjo in the bid to, to succeed him, but later clinged to the presidential ticket of African Congress, AC, a party that Tinubu was instrumental to his formation, but the, pol but the, political, the political tsunami that hit alliance for democracy ad governors who were elected in 1999 towards the end of his second tenure as governor of Lagos state led, led the groundwork for the establishment of ac the platform on which babatunde fashola incumbent president incumbent minister of works and housing was elected as his successor however he came a distant third in the election which was won by the late president umaru musa yaradua of the then all Pro all nigerians people party anpp came second the ac had put up a force in the national assembly where it won 32 out of 360 seats in the house of representative and six out of the 109 seats in the senate Ad addressing the Board of Trustees, members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, at a meeting on Tuesday, Atiku said the opposition party should not be coerced to accept zoning in the 2023 presidential race. He also dismissed insinuations that he was working against the opposition zoning of the People's Democratic Party presidential ticket to the Southeast. In the party, we invented the formulation that zoning policy simply may not work for us because we wanted every part of the country to have a sense of belonging and i personally have paid my dues on the issue of zoning many of many of you were members of our government when people democratic party government came in 2003 and said i should run and i said no we have agreed that power should remain in the southwest why should I? Some of these governors that supported me, some of them went to jail. Some of them were kicked out of office. We made sure we kept the policy. Therefore, you cannot come and imply that the People's Democratic Party do not follow the zoning policy. We do. The many years of People's Democratic Party government, eight years and six, all of them were from the South. So, we should not be stamped upon by the opposition party. We have a moral obligation, which is in 
which is inseparable, that we are one. Some says that the Southeast have not been given the chance. When I joined the Action Congress AC, which my friend Bola Tinubu set up, he gave me a set of conditions for giving me the ticket, one of which was that I should make him the vice president. I said, no, I am I'm not going to make you vice president. Instead, I took Ben Obi, Atiku said. Tinubu is currently one of the presidential aspirants of the ruling APC. Atiku is one of the major contenders for the People's Democratic Party's ticket. Atiku added that when he got the ticket again in 2019 to run, he took another OB unconsciously. I mean, does that mean that I'm not, I'm not somebody who loves people from the Southeast? It was Peter OB on the second instance. So what does that tell you? That I and the people from the Southeast, we have a deep connection. So, it is absolutely no reason they should say that it is deliberate an attempt to exclude the Southeast in political participation or power shifting. If I had won, a Southeast man would have been the vice president, wouldn't he? So, I thought I should disabuse your mind of the course of an enlightened political class. I don't think there is any deliberate policy to exclude anyone in this country, he said. It just happens. That's Atiku Abubakar, the vice president of the country, who feels very strongly that um, the way things are currently today, if we're going to be changing things, we need to change them fast. However, he said um, he has been the vice president and um, under these conditions, he has been the vice president. These are the following things that have happened, you know, and then um, he continued to say that he does not feel that the Southeast has been excluded from government at all. In his opinion, he feels that the Southeast has been given opportunity, you know, and he um, does not feel in any, any way that um, the Southeast has been excluded. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And we'll keep you up to speed as the matter unfolds. Remember that every one of us must speak out with clear court. You know, uh, we must speak out against every wrongdoing currently going on in our nation. You know, the, the case of politics is a very peculiar one. And we must not say it's not my business. Because whatever decision they make binds on us. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.